Hello dear listener, in this video we are going to derive first law of motion which states that V is equal to U plus AT. Here V denotes the final velocity, U denotes the initial velocity and A denotes the acceleration, T denotes the time. So we will use the graphical method, we will draw the velocity time graph for uniform motion when the body is initially not at rest and we will see the graph appears to be a straight line which does not pass through the origin but which do have a constant slope as we have assumed that acceleration is constant the velocity changes uniformly in against time okay now as you can see this is the velocity time graph on the x-axis we will take time on the y-axis we will take velocity now from this equation when t is 0 velocity is equal to u so first of all we will draw a scale whose magnitude is equal to u on the vertical y axis or you can say velocity axis now draw a scale now this magnitude if you draw a scale and name it as a this is o so o a will be equal to u next we will draw a scale whose magnitude is equal to v and name this scale point as e so that o e will be equal to v o e will be equal to v o a is equal to u okay now we have to draw the points and so that we can draw the graph we can draw the shape of the graph so first point when t is equal to 0 v is equal to u so this is we'll draw a point at this point t is 0 and v is equal to u so this will be the dotted point next when t is equal to t so if i draw a scale on x-axis which is whose magnitude is equal to t and name it as d so that o d is equal to t seconds so at t the velocity will be equal to u plus a t or you can say at time t velocity is equal to v so what i will do extend this scale in the backward direction now extend this scale in the forward direction where these two lines intersect draw a point and this will be the point which denotes the velocity value of velocity at time is equal to t now in between these two points there can be so many points but as uh, we are not knowing the exact values so we cannot plot them okay but we have assumed that the motion is uniform so definitely we need to draw a straight line between these two points because the motion is uniform slope should be constant so draw a straight line between these two points a b name this point as b now from this point a extend this a line in the forward direction and where it intersects this b d name it as c okay now how to derive this relation we have drawn our velocity time graph so we can say that as o a is parallel to c d if o a is equal to u c d will also be equal to u so i can write u is equal to o a is equal to c d next v is equal to o e as o e and b d are parallel so i can also write that v is equal to o e is equal to b d 
Now this B D B D will be equal to B C plus C D. Okay, we are knowing the value of C D. It is equal to U. So replace C D by its value U and name it as equation one. Now we are not knowing the value of B C. How to reach to its value? Now the slope of this line A B. This is the slope of this line which is equal to perpendicular upon base B C upon A C. And in case of a velocity time graph, the slope denotes the acceleration. So we can say that A is equal to slope of line A B is equal to B C upon A C or A C as A C and a, C and O, D, they are parallel. So I can write that A, C is equal to O, D, O, D and O, D is the magnitude of O, D is equal to T. T can be 5 seconds, T can be 10 seconds, T can be any value. So acceleration A is equal to B, C upon T. This is our equation 2 and now how to find out BC? If you take this T on the left side, BC will become equal to A multiplied by T. Acceleration into time. This is equation 3. Now we will put equation 3 and equation 1 and replace BC by A into T. V is equal to AT plus U. Now we can change the order of addition as, as you can say that 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 2 is 5. So addition process is commutative. So I can change the order. I can write this u first and then u plus 80. v is equal to u plus 80. Hence, it is proved. Thank you so much for patient hearing.